Hello, Scorpio. We are going to pop into your universe, okay, for the next 48 hours. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you are living in your truth, living your best life, okay, ignoring people that got a problem with you. I kind of feel like Scorpio energy does that anyway. But for the sake of the reading, we're just throwing it in there at the beginning. Excuse me. Um, Scorpio, I feel like there's a lot of, like, um... There's a lot of archetype energies that is influencing your life and your soul's journey, I feel like, to more enlightenment. Like, I really feel like some of you guys could be becoming members of, this could be, like, society or some type of, like, network or human consciousness that I feel like a lot of less life lessons have been either, are either being passed down to you, Scorpio, or these are life lessons that you are learning from. I feel like some of you guys here may um just it, it could be, it could not be. I'm just gonna talk to them and just what's up, what's up, us child. But I feel like some of y'all here like know that there's certain memories or certain um people or certain situations or things that are holding you back. Um, I don't really normally try to read reversals in this deck, you guys. However, I am conscious of the fact when energy is upside down. I do kind of look at reversals as energy that is being targeted at you and or your universe. Some of you guys may be new here, maybe wanting to know like my style of what's going on, um, whether you want to know that because you're interested, you're curious, you're excited or scared, whichever way. Um, but here, I just want to be conscious of the fact that the Six of Cups, which normally I feel like is an energy that's kind of taken a little bit too out of context, in a sense, maybe, maybe, I don't know. I feel like the Six of Cups is like really this energy of like balance and harmony, like your deep emotions. These could be people from your past or people from your present, Scorpio, that know that you just have an open heart or it couldn't be, it doesn't have to be you all the time. It could just be that a certain moment. It could be a situation you could. Um, I also don't like the fact that like Scorpio energy is made to seem like it's just sexual. Like it's, it's not, it, it's, it's really not. It's more so in energy giving that would be pleasurable or that would be a mo that would be renewable for you. And pleasure, I feel like it's such a word that has been distorted or kind of given like maybe a bad rap. Because I feel like some of you guys here, whatever energy is present, is that of you needing to express yourself, express that you are enjoying this or you're not enjoying this. Like this, I really feel like this particular reading, Scorpio, is about your emotional wealth and you sharing it with someone, whether it's sharing that with a partner, a husband or wife, whether this is... um emotional wealth that you're sharing within a family unit, whether this is emotional wealth that you have shared with people at one point in time. And it's like, I don't know, I feel like somebody here, like, maybe if this reading does make sense for you, maybe right now you're dealing with uh, a lot of sorrow. Um, That three of swords could be bringing out an energy where it's just like, you can't really talk about the painful realizations that you have. However, it's in your energy or it's in your energy bubble. That's another thing I've been meaning to talk about, y'all. Like, in Scorpio particularly, every Scorpio moon is ridiculous for me. It does not matter if it's, like, just coming up on a moon in Scorpio. It's like the moon changes signs every couple of days or it's a full moon in Scorpio. It's a new moon in Scorpio. It's an eclipse in Scorpio. Like every moon in Scorpio hits me like a ton of bricks. There is a download that hits me like a ton of bricks. However, what I was not being conscious of or what I wasn't allowing myself to believe is that sometimes there are um, influences from other people Sometimes these are other people's thoughts and psychic musings that are being thrown onto you because every Scorpio full moon, I feel like would, um, or not every Scorpio full moon, every moon in Scorpio, I have notes. Hold on y'all. Cause I want no way I was going to remember this. I knew this was going to come. I knew it was going to be my time. I knew it was going to be my moment where I can shine, where I can explore, where I can be. 
where I can be free, where I can just choose what it is that I want to do and I love to do. And I say it unapologetically. The moon is in Scorpio. is a perfect time to where I don't know where I found this on these people's internet, y'all. These were not my original words. I am not trying to take credit for nobody's words. I'm not trying to profit off nobody's words. I found this on Google. Okay, sorry. I be in Google too much to remember wherever I be. However, this particular day... <laughs> I came across some inf interesting information about cycles of the moon or phases of the moon and how to work with them. And the reason I did this is because I got tired of people reading information that say, don't do no love work when the moon is in Leo. That's what started this. So because of this, I came to discover um, themes that was happening when the moon was in Scorpio. So this is work with your psychic powers, divination, more advanced rituals. And this is where I say that I feel like sometimes people misconstrue Scorpio energies a little bit too much because it says due to his potent sexual energy, the sign of Scorpio is also conducive to performing spells regarding fertility. That's not always needed in a sexual manner. Honey, you need fertility if you want to plant flowers and have them grow and make them be pretty. So just to give an example, it's like I feel like you could be like releasing or stripping or deprogramming, excuse me, Scorpio, whatever this uh, just like wonky nine of pinnacles influence it is. It could just be somebody that's just trying to seem like they're a little bit more influential so they can kind of like hang on to your money to your resources, resources or anything extra that comes in. Now, some of you guys, maybe you're dancers, maybe you're models. I feel like someone here needs to work that energy in your universe. Like, um, whether you are listening to songs that kind of just like allow your hips to open, your body to be free. Um, my, my males, my masculines out there, this could be, um, any form of exercise that you deem fit. However, I will say, um, hit. Oh no, is this like donut in my nail? <laughs> I will say hit work, hit training is um very good for helping to balance out testosterone energy. So hold on, I have a lot of stuff going on and I just realized that like I got soap in this nail, a a donut in this nail. That could be significant here for y'all. Soap in a donut. Okay. okay well you know i just kind of all right so i don't think this is a money thing going on per se scorpio i do just kind of feel like this is a energy thing you may be feeling very low on energy or if you're not feeling low on energy then you're just gonna have a big old energy burst for some of you guys here this could be surprise news or gift. Uh, maybe some of you guys are dealing with problems at work. That Eight of Pentacles, I feel like, is showing your commitment and dedication. However, your guardian spirits is saying, don't let that commitment and dedication keep you in spaces and places that cause you to be down. Um, some of you guys here coming out of any type of uh, financial losses. Uh, I do see a lot of surprises with money that's coming for you. Uh, Scorpio, this next 48 hours. This could be new business opportunities. You could be restless. This could be new gifts. This could be new messages. Like I said, just I feel like everybody has different things about them. But those of you guys, I will say that I identify more as clear audience, psychic, telekinesis, you just know shit, clear cognizance, whichever, all those things. It I feel like your guardian spirits is it they know you're restless because you see something and you feel something, but then you also could have just been dreaming of something that is getting ready to come into fruition this next 48 hours. However, it does require you to step outside your comfort zone a little bit. So some of you guys here 9-11, it could be that um that's a little bit uncomfortable for you it could just be you know, that you know that you've invested your time and your resources in a way that like can't nobody stop you can't nobody defeat you nobody will defeat you you have the devil energy coming out here um i see you regaining your privacy uh scorpio not sure who this is for but i feel like there's some accounts is being deleted um or there's just uh 
some of you guys here, I feel like you have been the victim of some type of chaotic event, some type of um, troublesome event, or this could be some type of traumatic event. This could be um, many of things. As much as I would love to call them out, Scorpio, to help you understand what that thing could be. Um, I don't want to speak this into anybody's universe because I feel like this is a very... Um, <laughs> I kind of feel like you're sitting in a lot of open doors or like I see a lot of like open pathways. Like it's almost as if like you could choose from any crossroad or you could choose from any, any role or any path or directional point. And like, if you choose it, like it, it has some small bucket. <laughs> what is happening? There's some small bucket of like, chaos at the end and then it's almost like it just shifts you back into this energy that you've let yourself down or maybe you felt like you've been taken advantage of by somebody else um maybe this is one of those things where i'm really starting to feel like scorpio does not belong with water um my opinion is just for entertainment purposes only because it just kind of feels like this reading is more earthy um and more fiery but almost as if like your fire has been out so some of you guys could have scorpio in excuse me you could have scorpio in an earth house so that's second house um sixth house tenth house or you could have it in a fire house, which is the first house, the fifth house, and the ninth house. Um, a fire house could be significant here. A fire station. Um, I've always kind of looked at this tower energy as like a fire station. This could be sirens. This could be alarms. Scorpio, it could just be a lot of activity, a lot of noise. But interesting, I feel like even through all this activity and even through all this noise, you are finding some element of I feel like you're fine. Wow. You're finding some element of power. I feel like you're finding some element of brilliance or status. I feel like some of you y'all status is changing this next 48 hours, Scorpio. Um, I feel like don't pay attention to like the, the, I feel the energy of very nitpicky naysayers, twelve twelve. So it could be that here this next 48 hours, Scorpio, you're focusing on getting some things, um, popping in your universe maybe you have a moment of peace a moment of stillness where you're setting some clear boundaries but i also feel like at the same time you're you're gaining more opportunities you're gaining more gifts nobody's tired of you i don't know who um who's here today but nobody is tired of you i feel like there's energies in your universe that want you to like just like run the opposite way when your guardian spirits is like listen honey the heat is here it's not in that direction i feel like some of you guys here maybe you've been feeling like you're going the wrong direction with the knave of wands and the ten of wands scorpio whether that part of the message is for you or it's you know it's not for you at all However, I don't really feel like you're going in the wrong direction per se, Scorpio. I do feel like sometimes there are things that make you happy, that bring you pleasure, that bring you um, desire, that bring out passion. And I feel like this is in a non-sexual way. Like some, I feel like people have really sexualized the word like pleasure and desire and passion. Like you could have a passion for like going to a, a fucking like apple picking farm. You could have a passion for like building a, a supercomputer like you could have a passion for just cooking you know like a simple meal or something like that it's just like I don't know it's very interesting it's like there's just energies here where it's like whatever it is that you want whatever it is that you're desiring like you're a very honest sincere person or this is what your guardian spirits is thinking of you at this time so they're saying hey we are telling you you're very honest. We're telling you you're very sincere. Listen, you know what it is that I feel like you want. This could also be your partner. Uh, maybe some of you guys have partners that's been a little bit closed off. Uh, hopefully you have to meet. Well, I, sometimes I don't even be thinking it'd be that much garbage in there. I think you just be wanting to like be in the, the garbage truck thing y'all and comes over here every time. <laughs> and I'm like, um, maybe I should stop calling in my mom's apartment and start calling um, my own apartment here, okay? Um, 
I noticed that like other complexes that I've lived in or like, I don't know how it works for houses, y'all, but other complexes that I've lived in, I wouldn't see the garbage truck so much, but like over here, like it, it really be over here like a lot. <laughs> I was like, huh, okay. So if they, I'm not going to say the company's name because I don't, I don't feel like I can, but like if they wanted that acknowledgement, there we go. So um, here I was saying like maybe feeling like a little closed off from your partner. It could be that there's people throwing energies at your universe right now. Uh, Scorpio to close you off from your partner. I am specifically talking about love right now in case anybody is wondering. Um, but I feel like on the flip side of dealing with those particular energies, this next 48 hours, your guardian spirits is wanting you to just, I, I know, I feel like. I feel weird saying it. <laughs> Rest your body. There's a lot of wands here. If if I I maybe I am seeing your avatar right now, okay? Um, your energy body. Um, so if I could say what's happening to like your energy body in the astral realm right now, Scorpio. But he's pulling on you. Oh, so like, please, like, please. Scorp now, maybe somebody actually is pulling on you in real life. Like, maybe somebody's begging you for something, Scorpio. Like, maybe somebody is just trying to, like, you know, chase after you. Or these could be people chasing after you. Or maybe this is someone you're chasing after. Um, Picking off this next uh 48 hours, this could be, you know, maybe... I feel like what's most exhausting for you, Scorpio, is that you here in love, it looks like you truly found your power with someone, uh, whether you are a man or a woman watching this. And I feel like the success that the two of you guys want really does, I, I feel like, matter on a what am I trying to say? Like, it doesn't just matter to y'all individually. It's like, it matters to the both of you guys as a couple to like be successful or to, and I don't mean in like a, this doesn't even really feel like in an alpha way. It just kind of just feels like, Hey, you know, we don't want these burdens. We don't want, we don't want this too much responsibility. Like, listen, like we're collapsing. <laughs> we tired. We burn out. Like we want, um, we don't want to be overwhelmed. Like we don't, I feel like this is, I don't know, somebody here, like you're relate, or this could be your boo's higher selves. This could be both of y'all's higher selves. It just feels like in the relationship, like, don't be afraid to ask for help. Like you guys are maybe learning to not be afraid to ask for help, like easing each other's worries. But the energy I was feeling before I went off on that whole little sidebar is that the two of you guys know that y'all can't solve everything individually. But then I also feel like at the same time, y'all just don't want to solve everything together because it's the energy here that you're so, that the two of you guys are either very hungry or very drained. <laughs> very hungry or very drained for um, connections and opportunities and spaces and places that are more reliable than they've been. And I think I mean that whether I'm saying hungry or drained, because you would think like if you're hungry for something, you want those connections that will give you that fuel, that will give you that fire, that will give you that rush, um, where you're you're rushing into elements of joy. You're not eliminating fear, or being reckless, but making future plans like I feel like there's an energy here where like you and your person maybe you guys have not been making future plans maybe you haven't made future plans yet because everybody's situation is different but I feel like this next 48 hours at least in love like there's it's just like there's a, a very heavy burden here <laughs> this could be y'all are overworked this could just be financial burdens this could just be unavoidable expenses that are rather rather large whether you um whether it's an unavoidable expensive expense you have to pay for or it's an unavoidable expense you need the money for um there's some things that I feel like that are just really pressing for you right now so if you're in love yeah the sun coming out in the reverse and it's ten of pinnacles It's always some 
Okay. Um, I heard fame and talent are two different things. Let me see what you conflict today my guardian spirits wanted somebody to to know that um presently there is a lot of gemini in the sky so i mean it's probably you know it's just a little, you know just a little messy little messy stuff but two tens could be significant here i've been seeing 10 10 a lot i know that is a portal that means something but i don't necessarily remember what it means exactly Right now, I will say, Scorpio, this next 48 hours is going to look very different. It's going to look as if you, there's much more happiness and love and relationship and positivity. I feel like something's becoming a little bit clear for somebody here. Um, maybe there's some things that is blossoming in your life. The energy of the sun is beautiful, regardless if it's for love or career or finances or just, you know, it's just confidence. I do see a lot of confidence like life becoming more good like the sun is shining in the way that you want so you can reach goals i feel like reach goals that you've not just set for yourself but possibly for um this could even be goals that you set for you and your um partner you and your spouse or this could be goals that you set for yourself or for um other people that you love or this could be you know there's some anxiety that you just do have generally i feel like about everything booski not just love look at this the eight of wands honey the eight of wands with the knight of pentacles um the ten of pentacles in the reverse maybe some of you guys if you're not worried about money this could be other people that are around you that are worried about money or acting funny about money or or i feel like there's somebody that's trying to keep secrets from you scorpio i did hear gemini so maybe some of you guys have scorpio in the third house or you have gemini in the eighth house or you have mercury and scorpio mercury in the eighth house because i feel like there's too much um approval um that's being projected into your universe it's like okay so this is gonna sound messy but i'm just gonna get it over with and get it done because i feel like i know what this particular part of the reading is for and the energy that is being transmuted here. Um, I feel like somebody is trying to cause a sudden end of something that either it has been going strong or y'all just been going strong despite the conflict, despite outside opinions. Here is what I feel like here it is at i feel like this is one of those situations where it's like you trying to tell me how to do life or you trying to tell me how to do love and you haven't made the best choices you're trying to tell me how to do something with money and your shit fucked up you're trying to tell me how to live a long life or to have fun or to grow or to do this and we're from different backgrounds. We're from different walks of life. This feels like oil and water. <laughs> um, oil and butter mixes together. But this energy feels like oil and water. I don't think I'm doing a love reading for some of y'all that are in a relationship or connection or union or you want to stay in. And I used to reject this. I used to push this away. But then I kind of got to the point where I'm like, no, 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 no. Because there are so many situations that, baby, I would have loved to just be able to walk away from sooner. There are so many situations. There, There's just a lot. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and dip out before I start crying because this one hits a little too close to home. And my wounds are a little still open right now. And, and I'm transparent enough as a human being because sometimes all these titles really stress me out somebody's always trying to find out well what's your magic do or what this do or what that do or what can you do what can you do all that's cute but what isn't cute is real life energy drama battles like this one that i'm kind of talking about here where i feel like i've gotten to the point where i've driven to what what the real issue is it's like it seems like the real issue is that of debt or loss or family disputes these things that the ten of pentacles energy is not just here in the physical it if y'all watch coco y'all get a very clear picture of what families the ten of pentacles in reverse in the astral realm just watch coco baby they was cutting up i think my favorite bar 
literally bar, I said bar from Coco, is where the the dude in the office had to tape um his nose and he was sneezing because he was allergic to the dog. And um uh, <laughs> I don't remember the little boy name. Maybe Miguel. It, it, he's <laughs> y'all, I think my elephant was hitting a little too hard when I had heard this part. Cause I was like, why is this so funny? He has to basically he's like, the dog has no hair. Why are you sneezing? And he was like, and I have no nose yet. Here we are. And in that moment, I was like, this is a pure example of like energy exchanges between people that think they know you or they think they should know you or they do know you, whichever. That's like, like he said, oh, you sneezing, but this dog ain't got no hair. He's like, well, I don't have no nose, but it's almost as if like these things are happening. So you're just going to act like they're not happening. And I feel like someone here, you could be placing too much importance on maybe what other people think about, not just your partner, boo. Not just love. I know this is tarot sexual magic, but I'd be going there with this deck. Just you in general. Because when I work with the energies of tarot sexual magic, I just don't do it anymore. So like, okay, y'all finna like bam, boom, wham, thank you, ma'am. Like the 10 of pentacles, regardless of what deck is coming out in, regardless of what meaning or what explanation it, it has, there are some energies that are just consistent throughout whatever deck you pick up. Who, what, some of y'all here want to read tarot? Because I feel like I'm teaching. <laughs> this Ten of Pentacles does require you to love yourself and to let yourself be loved. And I know society says you got to love yourself before another person love you. But you have to keep loving yourself. You have to keep loving yourself for someone else to to love you. But then there are some people who will love you at any stage you're in. But if they're loving you at any stage you're in and they don't want better for you, that's probably why this reversal is here. Because this kind of feels like love where they like just truly don't want better for you. Or this could be um, a very strong spiritual connection where it don't. I've talked about that before, y'all. Check your people, check it, check your people living or dead, check your ancestors. Maybe you having conversations with somebody that want to be left alone. Maybe you having conversations with somebody that does not truly want to help. Maybe you just having conversations with somebody that they don't know how to help. Because you, the energy is like the Ten of Pentacles, the sun. We got a lot of knights here. Saw a lot of knights. I think it was three. Told, no, no, no. Yeah, three. <laughs> So it's almost like whatever you are looking for, whatever energy I feel like uh, collaboration or bubble you're looking for to happen with other people, it's, it's coming out by way of competition or rivals. This could be discord that's happening amongst your friend groups or amongst your friend circles. Um yeah <laughs> it's a lot i i feel like you're going through a lot i do feel like a short trip could help this um scorpio like a short trip away maybe um i do even feel like energies of kind of just like um Yeah, interesting. And now we got two knaves in the world. Maybe children are significant here. Some props, some things. I feel like somebody here, like, I'm not, some things... I feel like your ancestors are saying you're putting too much of your energy to try to fix. Um, trying to fix energy in a situation where somebody is committed to being childish or to not being fair or to maybe even, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Like, 
it doesn't feel just like childish energy. It just kind of feels like silly energy. So maybe somebody's being silly or you think somebody's being silly or those are the words you're using to describe their behavior, like silly or weird or just like over the top. Like it feels like this Saturn energy feels very loud. So maybe it's Saturn and is in a, well, you know, Saturn is in Pisces right now. So maybe some of you guys are dealing with, um, this could be someone that has Capricorn. This could be someone that has Pisces. Oh, this could be maybe even somebody that you're worried about. Maybe some of you guys here with this energy of the world, you're worried about people that are younger than you. Um, maybe these are people that you're responsible for. You feel responsible for. Maybe you feel like, um, you have to step up to the plate in some way, shape, or form here with this higher thing. And I feel like and do something outside of what your um your ancestors, your wisdom is telling you. This feels like someone here is like, I feel like this is a transitional energy. Like you're stepping, excuse me, like you're stepping into a big role or a big time or a big period in your life. And I feel like it's it's coming with a lot of deception, it's coming with some manipulation. I feel like it's coming with some people that are just all talk and no action. Um, this could be gossip, legal matters, agreements. Like this could be, let like look money dis, <laughs> money disputes. Like third third parties, fourth parties. Like this could be made office gossip. Maybe you are unsure about your future. Uh, maybe there isn't really the best communication that's happening in your relationship right now. It could be different viewpoints. Um, it could be that there's conflict that is being thrown at your life more. Conflict that's being thrown in your life that's overpowering a desire to communicate, to move forward, to grow. Because this knave, you have to look, this is the knave of pinnacles. The knave of pinnacles is going to grow into a different energy. It's going to grow into that energy of the night. So uh, I don't know if I'm dealing with more masculine or feminine energies when it comes to these knaves. However, I do feel like matters are improving for you, Scorpio, not just in a way where I feel like I'm, oh, okay, like it's just going to get better. Like, I don't feel like, <laughs> I don't feel like your guardian spirits is at liberty to kind of like bluff, if that makes sense. Like maybe somebody here thinks you're bluffing. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be here all day. All right. <laughs> I'll be here all day. Like, okay. so. Ultimately, it is time for action. So, like, it's the energy of the world. Saturn's energy is one that is. You can be a little strict. I don't know, y'all. Y'all must. Oh, is that what it is? Girl, that's what I heard. Girl. Oh, y'all that don't like Saturn. Saturn must not be comfortable in y'all chart. <laughs> because some of the stuff that I be hearing and feeling about. Saturn energy, like when I hear it outside of me, I'm like, oh, that's what I've been going through my whole life. This is not normal. For, people don't really go, people don't go through this stuff. It, this is the extreme level. Like almost as if like I started the game and my avatar just felt the need to go to level like, I don't know, 332. And it'd be like, oh, wait, there's all these other things that I it might interesting. So some of you guys I think I I think this is like when Saturn's in <laughs> well baby when you got Saturn in these higher houses like Scorpio I'm sorry when you got Saturn in like the ninth house, the tenth house, the eleventh house, the twelfth house, baby. <laughs> like you start listen, you be looking at people when they do the most, like hey Go off because I'm tired. That's what that energy is. Like, that's what this feels like. Some of y'all may have Saturn, um, where Saturn's comfortable. And I do feel like Saturn is most comfortable in uh, Capricorn, Libra, Taurus. Now, I'm not saying your life is comfortable. I said Saturn. <laughs> Saturn energy is more comfortable. I didn't say life. That that would be that would be a lie. Yet I feel like 
Saturn really wants you to have a complete relationship, a serene family, magical intimacy, peace, and lasting happiness. Very strong physical touch energy here too. And I feel like this next 48 hours, Scorpio, if you identify with that particular part of the reading, that these are these aren't things that are just available to you. These are things that you deserve. Whether it is in a romantic sense or whether it's just in like a you know, regular schmegular sense, like the energy of the world is one that is of completion. It is the one. It is, or maybe some of you guys here have met the one. Oh, that's beautiful. Or you will be meeting the one in the next 48 hours. Or maybe you're going to meet up with the one and tell the one, like, baby, come back. I've been watching too much Transformers, y'all. Sorry. You can blame it all. <laughs> I do feel like there are a lot of new countries or new territories or new um, new obsessions to explore, okay? In a healthy way, a healthy way. All right, Scorpio, it was long as fuck. I didn't think this reading was going to be long, but there are some things in here that I know that I had to release. Um, for those of you guys here that are a part of my universe. I think I'm going to start saying stuff like that now. We're growing. I I know, I know like I don't celebrate milestones really like that y'all cuz I don't know like I it's so hard for me to believe that I'm here. But baby, what I had to do to get here. My only regret is that I did not start sooner. Not with just the tarot stuff. I know y'all see me post some other stuff too. So I'm I'm trying to stop being so um I don't know the word closed. I don't really feel like I'm closed. Though. I just like my privacy. Like, and I guess when you are an influencer, you have to navigate privacy differently. Um, content creator, business owner, husband, wife, mom. This is just everybody everybody that's here and is listening you still here listening to this point of the reading you just have to navigate life differently we are going online i know we are already online but those of you guys that know what i mean you know what i mean hey like i don't mean to sound like one of those prepper channels but like ai is here okay <laughs> And not in like an iRobot way, just in a way where it's like, if you're trying to scale your business, like um, scale your career, like new opportunities, like you don't have to get in this wave. If you're trying to keep your relationship healthy and viable and in existence, that's navigating, you know, who you're connecting with. We're in a time where like, baby, the conversations could get recorded. And posted online, uh, pictures being taken. Um, a lot of the stuff you see, like social, whatever is. Who is somebody here? An influencer? I don't think I know. Any oh. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. We are in Scorpio. Interesting. Okay. OG YouTube stand <laughs> Um, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I just, it's so crazy that like the content that I've been doing and attempting to do and loosely, not consistently doing on the internet, more so on Instagram, like back in the day, I'll say from like 2014 to 20, I think 2017, 2018, 19, 2020 is when I was like on Snapchat way too much. I deleted the account, y'all. So thank you, Snapchat. <laughs> um, and it's just so crazy. I'm more nervous posting like brands that I work with or companies that I 
work with and y'all when I say work with I mean get my shit from I don't mean sponsorships I don't mean brand deals I don't mean somebody's cutting me a check I mean like your girl is out here couponing super hard and just trying to be more open about the stuff that I've been using throughout the last decade (laughs) decade and a half ish um, being a mom, raising kids on the spectrum. So it's like, we want to really like bring this forth. But every time I'm like, uh, I don't know, like I get in my head. So if you're getting in your head, just do it. Um, I am fortunate enough to mostly use my time and energy in the divination standpoint because I can protect myself more that way as opposed to, you know, when I'm posting. But I did just share over on my Instagram, you guys, like getting back in good graces with Walmart because I wasn't (laughs) getting back in good graces with Walmart um, to start protecting you know, protect yourself, like, baby, you ain't feeling nothing wrong, it's Scorpio, if you're feeling it, you better listen to it, okay, I love you guys, not in a romantic way, I hope this helps somebody, toodaloo!